Hello and welcome back to Assertiveness. We are talking about sports quotas and transformation. And just before we went for an ad break, we were talking, I asked the question, is this transformation really about black people being part of the sporting codes or does it include everybody in South Africa? Let's all be fairly represented in South Africa as different races. I think just, just to speak on that, um, what people need to understand is this whole argument around transformation is based on a political agenda. Yes. We have a demographic outlook on South Africa. If you nail it down to 10 people, yeah. we have one white person, yes. we have eight black people. Yes. So our government wants that to be translated into sports and into business. Okay. One of the other things people don't understand, I think, about transformation in sport is because sports is such an emotional thing and people want to win is professional sports players get paid. Yes. So you might be pro BEE and you're saying black people are not being paid in corporate, but why not have oh, that in sports, sports as well? Because every black kid that's not getting paid in sports, that means there's a black community that's missing out on, yeah. on that. So people just need to understand that it's, it's a political agenda. It then gets muddled with the whole talent thing. Uh, Our politicians want to see eight out of 10 people being black or non-white because that's how the country's set up. And that's where it becomes so controversial because now the argument around talent, are we winning or should we just change the color of the faces? Yeah. yeah. So basically then if we, if we look at soccer again, going back to that soccer um, 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 example we had, then the soccer is fine. Because if, if we're going according to what you just according explained to now to say, the if there's eight, if there's 10 people, eight are black, Soccer is fine. Once you have more, you have more than two white people, people it's, soccer is lopsided. Yeah. Soccer is fine. Soccer is fine. But let's talk, yeah, up, yeah. let's talk about what you've just brought up, Antilla. The fact that once there are white people in a team, and I see, and I see it with, even when we talk in general as South Africans, we'll say, and then when the black people come in, all of a sudden things get weakened, the sports, people assume the sport's going to get weakened, that the talent is going to get weakened. Why is that? Why is that a, is a psyche of South Africans that we just think black people means weakened or inferior? Uh, firstly, I'll tell you that white people mm. do not have the skill in South Africa to play sports. How? Oh, wow, <laughs> that's a loaded statement. White okay. people do not have the skill set you need to, okay. back that up. to play. Yes, and I'll back it up, and okay. I'll back it up. You, there's no white flower in rugby mm. that has ever played a skillful game. We can't play. No sporter. Um, the guy who played... Um, you white South African... Yes, white South African flower. Hence I said, I dumbed it down to South white Africa. South Africa in South Africa. Yeah. That we, as you see, we spoke about Damien Philimsa. We spoke about Pollard. Pollard was not a skillful player, but he was big, lanky, and now he, that's all he did. Damien Philimsa has shown a skill set that is absolutely amazing. Am I allowed to interject? Yeah, no, of course. I say you can't. I disagree. <laughs> And that's, that's my first statement. Okay. You ask me about how. Yeah. Is that we have a mentality, and that is apartheid. Apartheid okay. itself is a psychological model built by a German. Yes. You know? Yeah. And it's about how we create race to be inferior to another race. True. To be honest with you, whites are advanced. Okay. They're not a better race, but they're more advanced because they've been doing this for longer. And they've had resources. And they've had resources, right? Yeah. We, even our democracy, have only got 20 years in it. Mm. If you take a 20 year child, 20 year old child, mm. you can't expect him to make adult decisions. Yes. We still have to grow. Mm. Yes, we've done a lot of bad things as black people in terms of running some things to the ground. I mean, Pakaman and I was putting about border rugby, yeah. who is probably the feeding child of oh, South African South rugby. African rugby yes. But it's been ran to the ground because we run it. Yeah. And I'd say it's going to take time to get that mentality out of ourselves as black people that you know mm -hmm. it's going to take time but i'll tell you something we genetically in sport yeah are superior okay. based on what based on genetics our... but which you see this, this is this is why i wanted to interject yes. the first thing you spoke about was White Flower House, of which we've won two Rugby World Cups with White Flower House. Are number one, number, number, number two, no. the skill is a separate argument. Yeah. Number two, we're talking... Uh, you're, you're, yeah. you're, White Flowers. You're, you're mentioning genetic superiority. Already as black South African men, we get compared to our other African counterparts. Parts, losing. And we've seen as small. Yeah. If you look at the size of Bafana Bafana, your Simpira Shabalalas, for example, compared, compared to the, the rugby guys, I think even if you're speaking in rugby circles at high school level, at, at professional level, and you compare the size of a white Afrikaans boy versus a black boy, 
So I don't know where your genetically wait, 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 superior wait, wait, argument wait, wait, comes from. Wait, wait. Please say that again. You saying that, you, first of all, you compared South African blacks. Never. No, but I'll tell you that's something. Fair, fair, in South, I'll tell you something. And I'll tell you something. In Eastern Cape. Yes. In Eastern Cape. In Western Cape, Eastern Cape. And I'm in Limpopo. Genetically, in three, even in Durban, some of them. Some of your black boys are far bigger than the white boys. But what does size have anything to do with it? Because size in rugby is, is I, also, I also don't want to I don't want you to I don't want you to make statements that don't have really much proof on, on you saying in Eastern Cape, in Western Cape, in Limpopo, all, all the blacks are, big, are bigger than the whites. That's, no, that's, that's, all the blacks. No, that's, that's flawed. That's flawed. Black that's that's flawed. Oh, can, I, can, I, can, I can I take us back? Can I take us back to a, to a statement you made earlier on that I don't agree with? The reason why c the quota system is looked on in such a, a bad way, whereas people think the more you push quota system, the more we're gonna lose. It's, yes. almost, it's almost in like in the same so you line. Weaken it yes, you're gonna weaken the whole thing. Yeah. Is the, the mentality of we still think as blacks, we still think that rugby and cricket circles are for whites, and yeah. we are trying to get in, which oh. shouldn't be the case. Which shouldn't be the case. Okay. It should be like white people shouldn't feel like if I wanna play soccer, I must now befriend black gents. If for, you're gonna, to for, for me to be, why can't I be white yes, why can't yeah. I come from a white background, play for a white club where yeah. there's all white people, and I still go and try and become a fun and fun player? Mm. Ne? Why can't you be a Soweto rugby player and still make Springboks? Why do you have to? Why is the mentality that you have why to you have to be in the white circles speak in order to speak of the cons? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, the, I understand the, the history of it. But my, my problem is, my problem is the mentality, the whole mentality is we need to break it down. We need to break everything down flat and everyone must rise in the same way. Can it's, South Africa take the breaking down flat? Because we're very emotional and we hate losing. Why, why, why people, people, why, why people, why people don't want to, let, let, me, let me say, why people don't want to let go of rugby, winning culture, winning culture yes, and rugby? Just remember, remember when apartheid, eh? it's not that soccer was not in apartheid and then apartheid was happening here and then when Mandela became president, so soccer joined in as it is. Soccer players, black soccer players weren't allowed, I won't say weren't allowed, but obviously black James played soccer and it was, it was a whole league, but the whole league itself wasn't great. So us winning the, the 1996 FCON thing was because when we became, in, when we came into a democracy, democracy um, they allowed, they said the best chance are the Black jeans in soccer. So with with O'Neill Tovey and Eric, mind you, there were white jeans there. Were yeah. white there was Neil yeah, Tovey, Eric, Eric Tinkler. Um, that's not why. That's not why they won. Mark no, Fish. Mark Fish. Fish. That's not why. That's <laughs> not why they won. What white what, 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 what people did? What, what, what white people did wrong with rugby and cricket is that they said allow them to govern the country, but for instance, 1995, let's allow one black guy to come in because. The, the, the essential thing about quota system that Chester Williams was a quota system. Yeah. Yeah. There was definitely another white wing that they wanted to play. Was he but, but, but I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. I think, I don't I think know. the biggest argument in rugby that I hear, especially from, from white people, is if the boy is good enough, we'll pick him. You want us to take a boy that's not good enough. Just yes, that. yeah. Yes, you, you're dealing with cultural differences environment, etc., no, whatever the case may be. But, that's, but that's, how they, that's how they ruin it. That's, how, that, that's the mentality they're trying to make. Check. Can I interject? Can no, no, I I before you care, before you care. I, I I actually, actually, my, point was, my point was going there. My point was going there. See, what they, what they do now, hence, hence they're trying to make, make it bad. Hence, hence they're trying, trying to make it bad. True. What they do now, what they do now is, is they, 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 try and, they try and eliminate, to make a point, they, they eliminate one of the, the better white rugby player ne? and replace him with a bad, almost bad, black rugby player, in, or, in, or, in, or, in order of when he's there and everyone is watching, they say, yeah, that's because the criticism said we were supposed to pick Open no, 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 Lodge. That is Afri Forum's argument. Afri Forum is saying we now have white players that are good in a certain position, yeah. but must look at another position because there's a black player that is, let's, let's, let's use fly half for, yes. for instance. There's a bad fly, black fly half. We need to play a black yeah. person. So now the good white fly half has to look for another position to play because no. you people are trying to bring in your people. No. No. <laughs> so what, what must that, happen that is, now? Is it, is it fair? The is truth, I think it's fair. The truth of the matter, Nicolette, yes. is that black rugby players have been going through that ever since they played rugby. Yeah. You, we've, there's, there's been so many brilliant 
flowers inside centers. I'll take you one little Jagevu, Luzuk of Valindro, mm -hmm. that have been taken. Even though those, those are the chains that made it. Even they, those are the chains that actually came out. That of they've them. been taken out of this inside center position. And since we're black, and all we know is to run because we're running away from bullets <laughs> pre 1994 <laughs> and, dogs, and dogs, we've been taken to the wingers. Okay. Where we have not. So there's like already a pre assumed. Yes, position that hundred percent. And then secondly is that when you speak the Afro Forum is that um, the privileged like we they take the 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 uh, I nearly saw the 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 the, 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 the un the not so good black yeah. so that they could prove a point. Yeah. Exactly what happens. There could be an absolutely amazing Black, black at twelve. Yeah. Are you guys are you guys saying that they Can are picking they are not picking Can good black players? That? Yes. That's exactly oh, what I'm saying. So the black players we have now are not the no, best. No, 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 not necessarily all of them. Not necessarily all of them. Um most wow. most of these most of these chains, most of these chains do it. Let's say let's not talk about spring box then. Let's not talk about spring box then. Because 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 people people like get in the in the academy. Yes. When, when a black player from let's so where to go? Let's talk about Lions, Lions, Lions Cavalry. Let's talk about Where now they they picked gents. They picked thirty guys, ne? Mm. And twenty two are whites. They, they still even make it twenty four are white gents, mm. and six are black okay. guys. That they need they still need to cut eight guys, most ne? Yeah. From this thirty. Mm. Automatically, they need to take all six of these black guys in order to just almost make, almost uh, make quota system. But already from this, from these six guys, they Might could, the they, there could be another six guys that they said no to over, over a white guy uh, that's already in this thirty, who's very, Next, average, who's, who's very, who's who's very average, average, and these, average. these six guys outside are very better. But because now they have to pick in their mindset, now they have to pick within this, the six. Right now they thinking, oh, because we need because we need all six of these guys. Let's now take out Warren here. Then everyone goes, so, oh, so but argument, Warren is so great, argument, and they're gonna put in one deal who's not so great. Your argument, know, which is <laughs> <laughs> hey, your, your argument is based on intel. Yes. 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 Well, unless, saying, unless you know this yes. and you're involved in, you no. wouldn't know. Look, I, I, Pen, it happens. Which in makes it controversial. It Pen. happens in netball too. So I used to be a netball coach, yeah. and basically when we pick when we had trials. You're literally having the coaches saying, okay, we need to pick, um, so in a netball team, there's, there's seven, but you pick nine, right? Mm -hmm. You would pick 14 girls, and in the 14, maybe five will be black. Mm -hmm. But now they're forced to bring all the five into the, the into the game, you know? And, and, and you start now having to swap out the white children. But sometimes the white kids that have been picked, as you said, are not so great over the other black girls that didn't get picked. But they had to pick five black girls. But now you're picking also them on position. Because yeah, now it's like, which makes it, difficult. Which makes it even more yeah, difficult. Yeah. So you yeah, do have that instance. I, I definitely agree with well, that. One of, one of our problems, I think, in sports, uh, it's, it's good you highlight this, because we actually never probably discuss this a lot as guys, is the positional argument. Yes. That part of the problem is that, let, let's say black people love talking. Yeah. Now you've got a company situation where you have to pick out of 10 people, two people that are good at talking. Yeah. Now, now we end up as black people fighting for those for, two. Because we're all fast. Yeah. We all run and we know yeah. the running guys are the wings. And there's very few black people being selected for fly half. And then they end up selecting substandard black fly halves just to make up. Maybe it comes back to your argument then, Penel. Penel said something earlier about for black people to thrive in these sports, they need to change the way they play the sport. Yes. So, as you said, they mm. must, as you guys argued about soccer, don't come in as a white person and not become a black person for mm. you to be able to play soccer. And Penrose said, as a black person, change your approach in how you play rugby so that you actually can be yeah, picked. It's, it's Maybe it's if we all, if no, we all, if no, all as black people no, we're all running, no, <laughs> then, no, then we need some no, people to no, eat and yeah. become props, yeah. isn't it? Nicolette, Nicolette, oh yeah, the poor yes, is. oh yeah, <laughs> Nicolette. Yes. We, we as South African and the South African selectors in rugby and cricket in white dominated sport yeah. have that issue. And how we should be looking at it is that who is the best person for number one? Okay. And not what color is that person? And not try to make numbers yes. a quota. Yes. That is our issue because yes. Now, yes. now what happens is that class five, remember if I'm a white person, which I'll never be, <laughs> No, no, you won't. You won't. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Maybe, Ever. Maybe, maybe Panakant. Yeah. I'll always make sure that I choose substandard blacks 
to substantiate my selection yes. for the white people. Yes. You know? This is all, this is all like, conspiracy. No, like. it's not. It it's not. It I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. But we have a conversation and he was and he was just talking about how his own struggles that yes. he was faced as a yes. coach, you know, from when he wanted to select players and yes. how he the challenges were was setting up. Yes. And in any difference, I've spoken to many guys, mm -hmm. you know, that say that but the, when you're sitting there as the only black coach, which I'm faced also at the moment, you know, sitting there, you, you find that they, they'll, they'll pick a whole 22 white, white boys, 22, yeah. full men. Yeah. And then they're, and they're all they're like, oh shit, there's no black person here. Yeah. No. But then if they're selecting based on talent, I'll tell you, we would, we, would, we would meet the quota system easily. We'll go, we'll, on talent, we would meet the quota system. It's, but it's, 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 all, it's also the whole system. Eh? Let, let's say, for example, let's put it back to black on black, right? Mm. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it's almost as if the coaches themselves, there needs to be more black coaches. I was about to ask because, you. because, because, before you select a person, you almost kind of like have to relate to the player. Yeah, relatability is yeah. a big thing. So in other words, if, 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 I'm, a, if I'm in, if I'm in um, Eastern Cape, right? And let's say for some reason, there's a mixture of Zulu, Tuana, and Kosa people mm. in the Eastern Cape itself. Let's say, let's take Joburg for instance. Mm. Yeah? You would relate more to a Kosa boy who speaks to you every now and then, eh, da, yeah. then, yeah. It, without even watching his game, you'd, you'd, all, you'd, really you'd almost be like, yeah. that, that kid is gonna be, that kid is, so the, the white people, when they select as well, it's almost as if the guy who comes in, and shakes your hand first, but or, already you guys are relating it's culturally. The low yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The language itself, yeah. the the yeah. Re, the relation in terms of you and the coach is almost yeah. you guys can click. So when he's selecting, he almost goes. He's already got your who's top culture. Why? Yes. Yeah, one one yes. one one deal. One deal. Take. One, yes. You know what I mean? Comes from the school. And the the, the reason we enforce coaches system is because if we do not. It'd be very easy for a white person to pick a full-on white team. So we need to start from coaches then. Oh, we need to start from structure. Yes, yes. But now we have, now we need to start all over the place. Yeah. Now we don't need to. We can't go back and start. We have to. At the end of the day, no one's going to take sponsorship. No, no, we will leave. Because we're we, yes, sports is yes, a business. Yes, we will. Yes. We will. We, 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 will <laughs> we will. We will break it down and rebuild it from scratch if we have to. Because are, are black people willing to take that? Hundred percent. South, 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 South African fans are not. South African fans are not ready for that. And who are South African? South African fans. black people. Who know, who no, 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 South African and white. No, it's it's South African white people. And white. My, 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 my question. My question. My question to what you're saying. My question to what you're saying is. Are black South African fans willing to lose yes. to have a black team? Yes. Or, or, would, they ra or would they rather have a slightly yeah. transformed Springbok team guys, that's guys, winning World Cups? I'm a South African fan and I'm saying no. So you are not willing. So you no. want... No. No. Don't, don't, don't speak for yourself. Brother. Don't speak for yourself. No don't, don't, no don't, don't, don't speak for yourself. No don't speak for yourself. No don't speak for yourself. No. Don't speak for yourself. No. Try and I'm plug not, into... This is something that also, I... Don't, don't speak from a person who's been in the system. You've played it's emotional. Spot. Yes, you coming from an emotional stance. So cool. The rest of us are coming from, we want to see winners. I went to an African school and literally I was forced, rugby was forced down my throat. Every mm -hmm. Friday we had to watch rugby from grade eight up until grade uh, 10. It was, it was compulsory. Now, those boys who played, uh, they were all bored, which is weird. And, th and that's what makes me wonder if they really are Interested black people who are good at these at, at rugby who yeah. want to play because from? Mpumalanga. Ah, okay. They, <laughs> no, it's fine, but then it, 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 it may be no, it may be an inferior province. It may be an inferior province in terms of rugby. Understood, right? We've got a few good players that came from Pumalanga, yes. so we're not going to go there, yes. right? Yes. Now, the boys that played in our school, from yes. Emmatsulu, they literally paid for their school, everything, boarding, everything, right? Those boys, when they played rugby, yes, they were very emotional about it. They, and they come, they say exactly what you were yes, saying. Yes. But the reality is, did we want the school to lose games because we wanted black people to play? No. So, so, so the, the argument today, and look, I don't want to make this about this argument. You've got black people that have issues with a recession junk status. Yeah. So the argument becomes, okay, should we let white people carry on with the economy so that there's no junk status and no recession. And that's the same. We're going to go for a quick ad break before we tackle that one because that's a different conversation altogether. Remember, you can join our conversation on social media using the hashtag assertiveness. Please don't go anywhere.